Today we have a pretty interesting challenge. I received a video clip from this heavy metal gearhead. He had picked up a Corvette, had been sitting around for a long time, and he had it up and running. And that was really cool. But then I saw the outside, and I said, whoa, we've got to be able to do something with that. So we're on our way to Heavy Metal Mats to go see what we can do with this vet. I think it's gonna be a perfect candidate for the Clear Coat Restore. It's a consumer product, so uh, even I should be able to help out with this installation process. Let's find out. As promised, I have Heavy Metal Matt here. We are in his uh, Heavy Metal Garage, um, <laughs> complete with a suit of armor, Iron Maiden collection, license plates, and all of the other automobile uh, kitsch that goes along with it. All right, now let's get into this Corvette. This car sat for a very long time, wasn't running, and was pretty much derelict and done. I got a hold of it and made it run, and we're gonna try to make it look pretty. So basically to start this, we need to do a decom wash, but I'm not gonna go through the entire process with you because there's already some great videos, like the one Adam Huber did, that I'll drop down in the descriptions here, uh, that'll walk you through the entire decom process. As we've established, I'm not a detailer. I'm not a detailer. Matt would rather have his head underneath the hood and uh, licking the engine than working on the outside. So since Matt is a do-it-yourself kind of guy and hands-on, I know he won't let me do all of this by myself. No, probably not, yeah. sorry. Which is good. Big red sponge. Big red. O&R. O&R. At 256 to one. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're gonna wring it out to where it's just about like that. Then you're gonna wash this thing. Did you see how I did that? I did see how you did that. Here. Can I start on this hood? Yeah. That's yeah. driving me crazy. I am impressed already with just a sponge. But we'll see, we'll see if we'll see if uh, you're gonna walk the walk here, Mr. Carter. So Matt's finishing up the Opti No Rinse portion of the show and uh, we're gonna move on to the uh, power clean portion. Again, I'm just gonna show him real quick and then let him take over because I think he's having fun. What did you think of that Opti No Rinse? That's amazing. Um, wow, I mean, it all gets captured in there and it rinses right back off in the bucket. It's great. And we just washed the car, that's it. You might be onto something. Yeah, yeah. Dr. G. Dr. G, we're gonna have to have a chat. <laughs> I have more than one car. Moving on to the, um, well, that was bad product placement. Moving on to the uh, power clean portion of the show. Can I use it in the engine compartment? Yeah. But today we're gonna just blast it on here. Lay it on me, Mr. Carter. We're gonna boop, 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 boop. just put this on liberally. And just agitate, about like this. Okay. Huh? You're doing a great job. I think it's the product, not me. Okay. I'm a fan of anything that works. I'm not a fan of things that don't. So Matt, we're gonna take our Fair-X. Got it. Fair-X. All right, Fair-X. We're gonna spray it liberally on this panel. Take the clay mitt with this side down. You're gonna lay it on and then rub down the car. Okay, you've had enough of that. Let me see that. <laughs> Let me see that. Now, do I need to do a circular motion? Or nope, just you're doing it. Four? You're just... doing it. You don't even need to overdo it. You're doing it already. Now, you know this car isn't perfect, right? It's got dings. It's and not? Damage. And, I mean, this is a not perfect Corvette. Oh, but I don't want it to be. It's an original car. I just like to see what we can save of original because it's always only original once. For a person like me, that's a big deal. I'd rather have original scratches than brand new, no scratches. It's already smooth. Yeah. That's unbelievable. So now we're going to do something I truly have never done because look, uh, we've got this super awesome Zen tool. It's kind of the, the luxury brand of uh, awesome detailing polishers um still in the box big badass da polisher yeah pretty cool huh that is really cool yeah i'm ready dude okay let's do it this is uh so we've got the uh pad washer it has <laughs> <laughs> it has uh opti no rinse o and r in the bottom we're just gonna 
get the pad wet. We're gonna spin it up to speed six to dry it out. And then we're gonna take it down to speed three where we want to operate. We've got our hyper compound. One spray, okay? No pressure. No pressure. Three fingers on the front. Speed three, critical. I know how to do this. That's a six. All right, back down to three. Let's get some more goo. I don't think we got uh, a little wrap up with you after we did the um, the clay and ferrex. I love the mitt. The mitt is quick. Yeah. It's not like the old bars that I used to use, which is why I stopped using them. Yeah. Because it takes it takes you two or three hours. Yeah. I literally did the entire car in about 20 minutes. And now we have done the hyper compound. I say we. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, you did this little section. That's your fault. Yeah, and then you, you grabbed it out of my hand. Well, sorry. I, you, you know you're not getting most of those tools back. Right? <laughs> Just say. So, you were commenting on the lack of water uh, that we're using, and yeah. that's a big deal for me with Optimum products. Well, so far, other than the rinsing off with the hose, we have three gallons total, and we still got, what, two and a half gallons? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clever, that's especially in the desert. No, that, that's, oh. a, that's amazing. Yeah. I like that because... Uh, like I told you before, this is the first time in my years of owning a lot of cars I've ever actually washed and detailed a car in the garage. Man. So we're doing all of this in here. Every Everybody that knows Optimum Optico products knows that's what's going Inside, on. Inside, that's cool. All right, well, let's uh, hit the next uh, step and take it from there. Let's do it. Right on. Now for the paint prep portion of the show. Da -da -da. Fire away. We are heading into CCR next. Okay, that's too much, but that's fine. All right with me. As long as we get enough on there, my brother. We are there. Uh, we have prepped everything. And what we haven't mentioned while we've been going through this process is we have been prepping some test panels because it's really critical to test this to make sure that we know how to apply it. And what I'm talking about is the clear coat restorer. Yeah. Yeah. I got this. Okay. Let's read some directions. Clean the surface. Optimum power clean. Removes any grease and wax. Check. Decontaminate the surface with Optimum clay towel, mitt, or bath. Check it. Why the Optimum paint prep. Check. Now we just gotta apply in a well-ventilated area yeah. with what? A respirator. Okay. We can do this. I got one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Follow the instructions. Yeah, soak the whole thing. Yep. I think we need even more. Like see how it's kind of streaky? Concentrating. I'm a little concentrated at the moment trying to figure out if I've got the right amount. Doesn't look bad. Yeah. The car itself is not in the greatest shape, so I'm not, I'm not confident about how much actual clear coat is left on this car. I can really see the difference between us two. Okay. Okay. Keep it up, Tiger. So you can see mm -hmm. I've got a saturated mm -hmm. rag for sure. Okay. Well, that's So we just went through that uh, that clear coat restore process. Let's chat with the man that did it. I can understand now 
watching the watching the video the first time on how to how to apply it starting at first was a little awkward um, but now that I've used it and I can see I can see how it wants it wants to go on the car it basically tells you how to put it on and I kind of thought that the self leveling thing I wasn't really buying into that a whole lot but now it's been about 25 minutes and you can see it happening it is, it is actually doing it by itself unbelievable unbelievable it works that's wow we can show some um, really dramatic before and after on this because I was pretty convinced that it might get a little shinier and remove some defects and I was cool with that this is unbelievable and it's original I know a lot of guys with a lot of cars and they could definitely use this stuff and you guys are amazing thank you very much that's impressive I am shocked look at this look at this I don't think anyone that has seen this car since I got it is going to think it's the same car. <laughs> I'm betting they won't. I'm not easily amazed. I'm kind of cynical about a lot of things, but that's from a lot of years of getting burnt by things that, as seen on TV, don't work. That works. That's amazing. That's hard to do. Actually, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't hard to do. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. It is awesome. So guys, I don't think I could have uh, wrapped this up any better than uh, Heavy Metal Matt already has. We've had uh, good success with the clear coat restore. Went through the process. OptiCode has another convert. He's trying to steal all of my gear. So if you like this video and you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell for more OptiCode content coming your way.